The UM Hospital just got the first in the US, one of these basically supercomputers that sits next to a CT scanner and uses these more sophisticated algorithms to produce high quality images from much lower X-ray doses. What an X-ray CT system does is it takes that X-ray source, rotates it around the body incredibly fast, about a third of a second, collects a thousand pictures, two-dimensional pictures, this is what the raw data looks like that comes off a CT scanner. It would be virtually impossible for anyone to look at this image and say whether this patient has cancer or heart disease. Our algorithms take this raw data, process it by these sophisticated iterative methods to produce the images that are finally viewed by the radiologist. The conventional algorithm that's been in scanners up until a year ago and continues to be in most scanners is um, based on a mathematical idealization for how the data is collected by a CT scanner. Okay, I'll finish. The main problem with them is that they require basically that you use a higher x-ray dose. If you use a lower x-ray dose, you get a really noisy image, kind of like a grainy exposure in photography. And that's just simply not acceptable quality, and so doctors today have to use a higher dose than they would like. Our group's been working for about a decade with GE to make what's called model-based image reconstruction algorithms. And those algorithms model the physics of a CT scanner, they model the noise and the data, and that's a very important part of it. And we put all those models together to develop an iterative algorithm that produces a better quality image. The only catch with that new system is it takes somewhere between a half an hour and an hour, depending on how much of the patient is being scanned, to reconstruct those images. So you can't use it in the emergency room. You can't even use it on every single patient because it only takes a couple minutes to have a CT scan. So the key part of our research right now is trying to make the algorithms faster. We want to bring it down to a minute or two of computing time so that every patient can benefit from this. And this would be standard equipment with every CT scanner and every patient would be able to have much lower dose and higher quality images as a result of these sophisticated algorithms.